All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get inside the brand new vault in the Eclipse Estate, showing you guys how to complete it, how to defeat the boss, how to get access to mythics, and so much more, and all the secret routes in. It's a really simple boss fight, and it's not as hard as I thought it would be. I think this is really going to come in handy for you guys if you don't know how to beat bosses or you want to know how to get access to the mythics very quickly. It'll be the same with the other two as well. I'm just going to be showing it this one first at the Eclipse Estate, and I may do separate videos on these two on the second channel, but for now, we'll just show a little tutorial here on the first one, just because it's quite easy. So you want to dive into Eclipse Estate, and there's a few different tips you can have around here, and I can show you guys a few things as we do dive in. So, first off, cars spawn at the front of this place, so if you want to escape after looting, or there's too many players here and you want to get out quickly without using any rotational methods, the cars will be a great option for you guys to try out, the brand new vehicles. I'll, I'll show you some gameplay of them, actually, as I drive them across the bridge so you can see them. They're pretty cool and pretty fun, and I think you guys will probably like them. Let's check it out and have a go. So here you go, you can spin it around, you can drive it across the bridge, and they're pretty fun. They can get up to some good speed. Sadly, no boost, though. Obviously, there's NPCs here as well, so keep an eye out for them. I did take that one out with the car, sending him flying, but we should be set to go. Now, a little secret for this area, if you do happen to have one of them battling ram things, the rocket things, the little secret door down here that takes you into the vault. I'll show you guys at the end of the video after we've been in the normal route because your usual route is probably not going to take you in through there. But that's okay. Let me show you guys. So these little bags, this is where you'll get access usually to the rocket ram. That's what it's called, like a battering ram. So it should be set to go. Grab yourself the rocket ram and you're going to need that inside the vault. So I've got it. It's going to come in handy. Let's grab some slap juice and head inside this building. There's a few different spawns for these as well. You can see there's another spawn here in this bag. You can get different ones. Some shockwaves as well are going to come in handy. We may as well take the shield as well over here. Watch out for these opponents after you, NPCs. Little tip, any NPCs you're fighting, if no one's around, stand still. They can't hit you. I don't know what it is with Fortnite, but they've never been able to hit you when you stand still. They can hit you, but it's like a 1 in 10 chance. See, they hit me once. They're missing a lot, missing a lot, missing a lot. And it's the same again. If you're in here and no one else is here, best tip you can do is stand still. Don't panic. Unless there's other players around, obviously you're going to need to move them because they're going to be able to hit you. But NPCs, they struggle a lot against you when you're standing still. So that's what I'm doing here. Little tip to fight them. Easy way of eliminating them if nobody's around. Obviously, if people are around, you're going to need to move a bit and they might be able to hit you a bit better. But them ones have got really poor accuracy. So once you come to the main building, you're going to want to look for the stairs because stairs are crucial. You just got to keep following stairs and stairs and stairs. And then you'll find these doors here. This door here will take you down to the main pit area. Now, we don't have much ammo or anything, so I'm going to need to grab a little bit bit of ammo here just because otherwise I'm not going to be able to eliminate the boss. And C4 can be super handy as well. Sadly, we don't have C4 in this situation. We won't use the new shotgun. We'll just use the old one just because it's a little bit easier. And then obviously we'll head into the vault. Now these turrets are a little bit annoying. They can do a lot of damage but you can just shoot at them and eventually you should be able to take them out. They've got about five, six hundred, about 500 health. A C4 will one shot them though. So if you do get access to any explosives, here you go. I've got some explosives here. This will come in really handy. I'll be able to show you guys some gameplay of taking out the turrets as we go further down. So let's go further down the stairs and uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Down we go. Watch out for these lasers. They do do a little bit of damage, I'll show you guys. And they also trigger this as well, which you don't really want because you get trapped in here, which is not really what you want. It's not ideal, but you can get out quite easily. You just got to pick up your way out. But obviously, that can happen as well. And they do a little bit of damage to you. So there's the boss. So you can see the boss is down here. We'll throw down the C4. Instantly destroy the turret. There we are. And now here comes the boss. Little tip against the boss again. Just stand still completely. He won't hit you much. He will hit you a little bit. But if you stand still completely, you should be set to go. Again, using the standing still technique. Unable to hit me. Taking him out nicely. Very weak for a boss, to be honest. One of the weaker ones. And we can take out there the... Uh, Caddo himself and take him out, whatever his name is. <laughs> so the new vampire boss. And obviously that gives us a throne scope burst, which is throne. Obviously that's his second name. So throne scope burst. It also gives you the estate key card and you're going to need them to access the vault. So watch out for these cameras though. They will bring in other NPCs if there's any alive in the facility. But sadly, I think we took them all out. So there isn't any. And now obviously you can use the estate vault key card on this here. And this will give you access to the new vaults now inside of these new vaults is where you get all the mythics and all the cool stuff however you're limited to what you can take and i'll show you guys what i mean by that so here we are in the lovely new vault you can see all the new little changes in here and obviously the mythics are in here as well so in this situation we're being offered three different mythics kits charge shotgun foundations mk7 or gunner's stinger which i don't know if you I don't think anyone would take that. It's horrendous. Anyway, so in this situation, you'd probably either take one of these two. And when you do take them, something strange happens, and I'll show you. So we'll take it from this angle so you can see. When you do take it, the others get blocked up instantly, and they're completely closed off. Now, I don't know if you do it with your squad and time it correctly. You might be pretty perfect to do this. If you do it perfect with the right timing, you might be okay. But yeah, you can see it goes red, and obviously this summons the NPCs to attack you. 
Now, like I said, the NPCs aren't strong at all. It's here, come, here they come, look, two NPCs. Look, they can't even hit you. Standing still. Look at them. They can't even hit me. <laughs> can even emote on them. Let's have a little emote on them. Look, they're not. Don't you don't need to panic at all, guys. When you're fighting these, just they can't really hit you, especially on zero build with the overshield. And you can easily take them out. MK7 definitely feels like it's increased fire rate here. Easily taking out the guards. Nice little elimination on them. Easy, well done. So that's nicely done. And then obviously that brings us to the end section of this where we've now head into the main room. And uh, yeah, we just basically need to find our way out of here. If possible, you can go back up to the way you come or I'll show you guys the next part. Let's just take out this turret with the C4. Nicely there. Obviously, this bridge doesn't break. And you can go in this water. Oh, no, you can't go in the water. It's just you walk on it. Okay, interesting. All right, so this next section is another way out and another way in. Like I said, if you do have one of these rocket rams, you can go through this section. Now, watch out for these lasers. You can obviously do what I'm doing, dodge them if you want, or you can just rocket straight through them. And then this section here, you can use the key card or a key to unlock this door. But this back wall here is what I'm saying. You know, you could land in straight down here underneath the bridge, access this. And this gives you straight access to the vault. Well, not always. If you don't get a ram, then you don't get access to it. But if you get a ram, you can charge your ram up and go straight through. Watch what happens here. Straight in, you go straight through everything. It goes through all the metal and all the detection, and you're straight in the vault. And obviously, we could defeat the boss like we just did coming through that one section right there. And that gives you access to this. So that's the main vault. That's how you can defeat it. I hope this video does give you guys an overview of the vault and how to get access to the mythics very quickly. Obviously, you can get thrown scoped assault rifle. Also, the foundations they are as well, which is super awesome. And I may as well, while we're here, just check out another POI. What I'll do is I'll edit it over, though, so we don't have to see me driving over. So what I'll do is I'll go over there. We'll go to the rentless retreat and just see if it's the same boss, see if it's the same sort of scenario with the vault and stuff and then we'll explore more bosses and vaults and stuff over on the second channel i think in a more overview of all of them but for now i just wanted to get this main video up on the main channel so you guys could just get an overview of how to defeat the bosses now over at the rentless retreat boss thing we've gone down the stairs head inside of here i just wanted to show you guys what's happening here there's quite a lot of npcs here actually a little bit of a sticky one let's throw some c4 down see if that does any damage to them there we are nicely done Get those shots up here with this. Just stand still, like I said. Just keep standing still. There's a lot of them here. We are in a little bit of a sticky situation. Moving, though, will get me absolutely beamed. I'm getting beamed a little bit. I'm going to have to move a little bit there because of the turret. That's okay. Standing still did all right. But, yeah, there's a few bosses, but there's actually a different boss down here. What I'm trying to say, take out a few of these. There's absolute tons. I didn't think there was going to be this many. It's because I'm the only player in the lobby, I guess, so they've got no other players to fight. We can take these down fairly quickly. And then inside of here, you should be able to see the new boss. Where was he? He was around here somewhere. There he is. He won't come out of here, so he must have a barrier here but this is where he's located and obviously this guy is different from the other boss we have this is like one of the weaker bosses let's see what his name is let me take him out get some ammo in there there we are oh heart stealer his name is and he gives access to retreats vault so basically he's not as strong he does drop drop the heart dealer have it there and that gives you access to this vault as well which is going to be the same scenario as before if we can get through here nicely let's just not get lasered by these okay which isn't as good as the other vault, but it gives you access to it. Let's see what's going to be inside of here. All right, here we go. Let's go inside of here. Come on, come on, come on. And there we are. Same sort of thing, but this time only two to pick from. You've got a Ocean's Chug and a TNT in his bow. And a bunch of other loot in here as well. So obviously you could take the chug. You take it. Does the same thing as before. And repeat. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And peace.